Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day operating well. So let's see today's problem, find H index. Okay, so what the problem is saying is, we'll be given an integer array citations, where citations is the number of citations a, research, a researcher received for the ith paper. Okay, the task is to find the H index. Okay, H index is the largest value such that the researcher has at least H papers that have been cited at least H times. Okay, so let's say, Let's say, I mean, it's, I think, uh, yeah, I understand it's a bit difficult to understand, but let's say this is the array, right? This is a citations array. Okay. Now what the problem is saying is, so we can say that there are five papers. Okay. Five papers, right? In this example, one, two, three, uh, I mean, I mean the number of elements are the, are the papers basically. Okay. Okay. Now each paper, each paper has, I mean, the contents, the contents are the citations. That means each paper has, uh, some citation. So here for this paper number zero, the number of citation is three. Okay. The, the three citations are there for paper number one. The citation is zero. The paper, the paper number two, number of citations are six. Okay. Now what is the citation? The citation is nothing, but you can say information, which contains, which contains the proof or evidence for the particular research. Okay. Okay. So for this particular research paper, there are three number of citations. Okay. There are three number of citations for this particular paper. There are zero number of citations. Okay. Now what we want to do is what the problem is saying is we want to give the, we want to find out the H index. Now, what is the H index? H index is the largest value. Okay. Such that the researcher has at least H papers. Okay. At least H papers. Okay. Having H number of citations. So, so here, what is that maximum value? What is that maximum H value? So if you see, so the maximum H value in this example is three, how it is, how it is, if you see, so for example, this particular paper has number of citations as three. Okay. This particular paper has uh, number of citations five and this particular paper has citation. Okay. Six. So there are three papers. There are three papers. Okay. Three papers having citations greater than or equal to three. Okay. Okay. What it is, what the problem is saying is we want to find out H index, right? What is H index? H index is nothing but the maximum H value having H papers, H papers having same number of H number of citations, H number of citations. So there are three papers here. There are three papers here having more than or at least three citations, at least it is saying. So three at least means what greater than or equal to three. I mean, it can be, it, it can be equal to three, four, five and so on, right? Greater than three, at least H citations. So we are having H number of papers, which is three having greater than or equal to minimum. There has to be three citations, right? Okay. Which is, which is what is having for these three papers, right? Three, six, five. Okay. Three, six, five. So I hope you're getting this. So we are having three papers, having three number of at least three number of citations. So this is three is the answer and this is a maximum value. This is a maximum value. Okay. It could have been two also, right? So there are two papers, three and five, right? Three and five which are having uh, at uh, like at least three citations, right? But more than that, we also have additional paper, which is, which is uh, like uh, adhering or, or which is following, following uh, like the, the condition basically. So, uh, so this is the maximum H value. So I hope you have got the intuition or I hope you have got the problem. Okay. Sorry. I hope you've got the problem. Okay. Let's quickly see now. How can we solve this problem? Now, what we want to really see is right. We want to find out that maximum H value. Okay. Maximum H value. Okay. Having, having those many number of papers, H papers and having at least, uh, H citations. Okay. So let's, let's do one thing. Let's sort this array. Okay. Now let's see how can we solve this problem? Let's do one thing. Let's sort this array. So how this, pro how this will look like zero, one, three, five and six. Okay. Okay. So this is a sorted array. Now, simply what we are going to do is we are going to now iterate through this array. Okay. And let, let me tell you what will be the condition here. For example, let me also write the pseudo code. If citations of I, if it is greater than or equal to N minus I. Okay. Then we have found our H value, the maximum H index basically. Okay. N minus I. So let's, let's see how, let's see how let's dry run this. So here I is here, right? I is here. So we are checking if citations of I, right, which is zero, is it greater than N minus, is, is it greater than equal to N minus I? So N is what here? Number of papers, five, right? Five, N is five, five minus, 
फाइव माइनस आई आई इज जीरो सो फाइव एन माइनस आई बेसिकली सो जीरो इज इट ग्रेटर देन जीरो इज जीरो ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फाइव विच इज एन माइनस आई नो इट इज नॉट ओके सो वी आर गोन टू गो अहेड विथ आर आई वी आर गोन टू इंक्रीमेंट आई यर नाउ वी आर गोन टू चेक इज वन राइट साइटेशन ऑफ आई इज इट ग्रेटर देन एन माइनस आई एन माइनस आई इज वॉट फाइव माइनस वन फोर राइट नो इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट सो वी आर गोन टू इंक्रीमेंट आर आई ओके नाउ वी टू चेक यर इज थ्री साइटेशन ऑफ आई इज थ्री विच इज साइटेशन ऑफ आई इज इट ग्रेटर देन एन माइनस आई वॉट इज एन एन इज फाइव माइनस आई आई इज टू राइट विच इज थ्री सो इज इज थ्री ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू थ्री Yes, it is. Is saturation of I greater than equal to n minus I? Yes, it is. Then we are going to then we are going to return what? Return n minus I. N minus I is the h value, maximum h value. How? Now let's see. Now let's see. So here, for example, our I is here, right? So here, if you check, if you check, so this is citations, right? Right? Okay. Now what? N minus I. What is n minus I here? So for example, so this is you know this is n. Right, this is complete is n. Right, this complete is n. And till here, it is i. Right, till here it is i. Right. I mean, we just went through this. Right, i is two basically. I is two. Now, this is n minus i will give what? N minus i. For example, if it is giving citation three, right, then it is obvious that the next elements they are going to be greater. Right, they are going to be greater. Right, right. So. n minus i will give you the number of papers basically give you will give you the number of papers right will give you the number of papers which is what which is 3 and the citation here what the citations of i we checked right the citation here is also 3 okay okay which is greater than equal to the number of papers 3 right right so that is why we are going to return n minus i which will be our h value the maximum h value i hope you are following right So n minus i again n minus i is giving you the number of papers right and the citation citation is also basically greater than n minus i right so it's obvious that we don't need to check the further citations because it is going to be greater than three right we want at least h citations right at least h citations so this n minus i will give you those number of papers having at least n minus i citations also having at least Right, having at least n minus i citations. Okay, so so this is the intuition. This is the pseudo code behind solving the problem. So I hope you have got this intuition. Okay, let's go and code now. Before that, let's quickly see the time complexity as well. So here the time complexity, like we are sorting this out, right? It is going to be o of n log n. So in o of n log n, we are solving this problem because then once we sort the array, we are just going to iterate the array once, right? Okay, yeah. So that will be another o of n, right? O of n. But o of n log n is greater than o of n, so the, so the time complexity of o of n log n will be considered. And what is the time space complexity? It's o of one. We are not taking extra space. Okay, okay. So I think you'll understand better with the code. Okay, before going to the code, I'll request you please please subscribe to the channel, like the video. So first I'll show the Java code followed by C plus plus. So as I said, let's sort the array. Citations, right? We sorted the array. Now simply we are going to iterate to the array i equal to zero. And let's have int n equal to citations dot length. So I'll show the C plus plus code as well, followed by uh, this uh, Java code. Okay. So let's quickly i less than n plus plus i. Okay. Now what are you going to check here? Citations of i. If it is greater than n minus i, n minus i is number of papers which will be having at least these number of citations, right? At least these number of citations. So yes. So simply we want to return. Those number of papers, right? N minus i. Okay. If it is not following up, then we don't have the h value would be zero. Okay. Let's compile it. What is happening? Uh, okay. It's compiled successfully. Let's submit it. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's quickly see the C plus plus code as well. Not much difference over there. Here we are sorting the array, right? We use the inbuilt function, and this is exactly similar to what we explained in Java code. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll attach the code in uh, uh, with the with the video. Okay, on YouTube. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, healthy, wealthy, and a great day. Thank you so much.